Greetings, and welcome to part one of our In Computing Platform Integration video series. Today we'll be discussing several best practices that will help you properly equip your vSpace servers and network environment for an optimal user experience. Hardware Specifications The hardware specifications of a given vSpace server will vary depending on the number of users connecting at any given moment and the type of work they're expected to perform. Generally speaking, a quad-core processor and 8 gigs of RAM will serve as a good starting point when designing a host. While SSD hard drives are recommended due to their fast read and write speeds, a standard high RPM disk drive is often sufficient for moderate workloads. If an in-computing reseller or partner is assisting you with your deployment, we strongly urge you to work with them to design servers with ample power for your specific deployment needs. If these resources are not available to you, feel free to contact in-computing technical support for assistance. Additional guidelines and documentation are available in our knowledge base. Remember that each deployment is different and servers should be tested thoroughly prior to final implementation. When in doubt, it is often wise to build a system with room to grow. This offers built-in flexibility for unexpected increases in workload or user count. Software installation. It's important to remember that vSpace is a platform, not an application. Understanding this key concept will help you as you integrate vSpace with your operating system and other third-party software. To begin, we recommend a clean installation of your operating system, followed by all system drivers. These essential server resources should be fully updated prior to the installation of vSpace, including all recommended OS updates. After the host operating system and core drivers have been installed and updated, install vSpace Server. Note that vSpace should be installed before any other third-party applications or antivirus software. This installation method ensures a clean, simple environment in which to confirm basic access device connectivity. If any troubleshooting or fine-tuning is required at this stage, a clean environment dramatically decreases the complexity of this process. Once you've confirmed that your in-computing access devices have connected successfully and function as desired, you can begin adding third-party applications and security software. We recommend you take time between key installations to verify that your devices are functioning as desired. Finally, we strongly recommend that all servers used to host vSpace sessions be dedicated to this role. Domain controllers, file servers, Active Directory, and other roles should be handled by other systems within the network. Allowing vSpace servers to focus solely on the role of session delivery dramatically reduces the possibility of complications such as conflicting domain policies or resource bottlenecks. Network Scaling Here is an example of a recommended network configuration. For connections between server rooms or switches and routers, we recommend a gigabit uplink or a gigabit backbone. For servers that deliver sessions, we recommend a gigabit network interface card. Gigabit speeds can be achieved using a few different cabling options, though again we recommend CAT6 as a best practice. Wireless or Wi-Fi connections, while possible, are not recommended as a best practice. Physical wired connections offer superior latency and stability. For the most straightforward deployment of vSpace sessions, as a best practice, access devices and their servers should occupy the same local area network. Delivering a Windows desktop session over a wide area network has been proven to work, but is more complex and has a higher risk of latency-related issues. If your desired deployment model requires wireless connections or wide area networks, be sure to consult with an in-computing reseller or technical support before deploying. The in-computing knowledge base contains several guides and reference articles that can help you scale and configure your network environment for optimal performance. We hope you found this information helpful. For additional guides and tutorials, visit our knowledge base at this link. For technical assistance, contact our technical support team at the following URL.
Thank you for your time and for being a part of the InComputing family.